down there, glass of old, old elf, this elf, behold. Going on, he will turn field, all by himself alone. He sails while on this western field, he expects us to have some fun. Waiting for that eastbound train to board down in the car. My pocketbook is empty, my heart is still with pain. Ten thousand miles away from home, bumming out old freight train. Hiking with a bindle like this is sure a lot of fun. You know, this is minimalist. You know, old school minimalist. Simple, sweet. You can do it. Anybody can do it. This is so beautiful out here. Wish you could join me and see what the forest looks like today. It really is awesome. This is a good place to set up camp. It's right next to the lake and has some trees to hang my hammock. Recently, several YouTube friends gave me a community staff for my 70th birthday. The award was presented at the third annual Spring Bushcraft Meetup at Big South Fork. I'm deeply honored by this gift. The idea for it came from Billy Joe. Uh, the staff can do many different things. Not only is it a walking stick, but it can be a hobo stick, a stick to hold my bindle. Bill provided the aluminum pole that can boil water and it can do several other things too. Look at this. I can cut wood. I can take this attachment off and I have a torch. And then uh, Billy Joe sent this on to other YouTubers who provided different additional things and some of those I have inside my bindle. Let's see. They are an attachment for my camera. That was Bob's idea. And Travis had a fishing pole attachment he made. And it has all sorts of neat gizmos with it. I can't wait to use it. And then Justin did leather work, really fine detail leather work, and then made a fire stick. And look at that. With a little antler on that. Awesome. And then Darby added a little statement at the bottom here, at the side of the staff, 70 years of loving nature. This gift means more to me than you can imagine. Uh, I thank everyone for their contribution and your ideas and, and support.
Check out their YouTube channels if you're not already subscribed. They are awesome folks and great friends and they make videos worth watching. Well, now what I want to do is I want to show you what's in my bindle. What am I going to camp with? And first thing I have here are water shoes, a ground tarp. Uh, I kept my extra clothing to a minimum, two pairs of socks, and then a towel for drying off when I'm in the lake. You hear that in the back? That's a boat, because we're on the lake. And, you know, hobo camping has to have a hobo stove. So I have a hobo stove in here, as well as a can of beans. I'm going to have a can of beans. that will heat with the hobo stove. This is my sanitary package. And I have a little trowel in it and paper and mosquito repellent. And you may wonder, what is an extra little light here, a big lighter doing in my sanitary package? You can ask me about it. You can, you can guess what that's used for. And then I am going to hammock camp. So I have my mosquito hammock and I have some Eno straps to put on the trees. And the tarp over it is going to be a sun wall, an Ozark Trail sun wall that I put up. This works very well. It's inexpensive. And if I get cold or if the mosquitoes bite me, I doubt I'm going to get cold. It, well, it's not supposed to get below 77 tonight. Uh, I have this uh, bivy, the Soul Escape bivy, I can put that on. This also is thick enough that it will keep the mosquitoes from biting through the hammock should they decide to come out and bite. I have a soy mini water filter, so I'll be filtering water from the lake that I'll be drinking. Little light, this is a neat little Coleman light, a little miniature light, and it collapses. For food, I have that can of beans and some other little tidbits of food here. Then Mountain House Apple Crisps. So I should be in good shape for, for meals. And that's everything in my bivy sack. Ah, I forgot. One more item. I have a trash bag. In the unlikely possibility of rain, I can use this as a, as a uh, rain, uh, for rain protection. And then also I'll use this to pick up trash that's around here so that the place is kept cleaner than when, than, than it is right now. Uh, did I mention apple crisp for dessert? And then these are my, um, my pills and compass and toothpaste and things like that. That's everything. Ah, ah. One more thing. You see this little can? This is what I collect pine pitch in and other things that will help me start a fire. So uh, let's set up camp.
I need to refill my water bottle. It's just about empty. And so I'm going to refill it and use my Sawyer mini filter. It's really simple to use. Bon Appetit. Beans opened with a hobo can opener cooked in a hobo stove. Mmm. You should try some. They're simple and tasty.
It's time to hit the sack. Sweet dreams. See you guys in the morning. Good morning guys, it's getting light. It was so comfortable last night. You know, the bindle makes a really good pillow. Anyway, it's getting light. I've heard my first birds. And uh, let, let's look outside. Look at it. Hobo hiking with a bindle is a lot of fun. You should try it. Until next time, peace. And remember to always leave your campsite better than when you found it.